few products that we're ready to sell, we need to be sure that we connect our store. So let's go ahead and click choose an e-commerce platform or marketplace. From here, you can see we have lots of different options to connect to the store's platform, use a ship station or manual. For us, we're going to use Webflow, so we're going to go ahead and hit choose platform and then go ahead and hit connect. Now here you'll see they do have a little tutorial to walk through as well, but we're going to go ahead and follow the steps. So you're going to hit connect to Webflow, log into your account, authorize the proper account, and then move on to creating our products. As you can see, once your Webflow store is linked, it will be named up here if you connected the correct store and you're ready now to add products. Now, as you can see, because I had a product already in there as a clothing product, it has brought it forward to Printful to try and sync. Now we're not creating this product here, so we wanna be sure that we're going ahead and clicking this product and either hitting ignore or the better thing to do is to go over to Webflow and delete it. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're back over in Webflow. If you remember from the initial tutorial, I set up a couple of different products just to give you an idea. But because this was just for a demonstration and isn't an actual product, let's delete that out so that we can get the correct information in there. So we're gonna come over to our little e-commerce and click on products and see how the swirl here is a physical product. That is why it linked through. Go ahead and just scroll all the way down and delete this product. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and delete it. Perfect, now let's go back over to Printful. Now we have this product ignored, but we're gonna go ahead and refresh our data so that we can get rid of the product. There you go, as you can see, everything synced up and because we deleted it, it removed it from our Printful dashboard. Now, as you can see, when we're adding our first product here and we click add product, we have, of course, the product templates that we've created, which are t-shirts, and then we have the mug. You wanna be sure before you add products to the store that you have everything set up in Webflow from your category perspective to match the product you're creating. So let's take a look quickly in Webflow and make sure those categories match. So we'll come back over to Webflow and we just deleted out that t-shirt. So now we're gonna go ahead and come to categories. And remember, we created just this t-shirt category and perhaps you wanna call this just physical products. If you are going to have multiple categories, you can leave t-shirts and then just go ahead and make sure that you're adding a new category for accessories or miscellaneous. something that you can use broadly across any non-t-shirt related items or you can be as specific as you would like to be but you do need to make sure that these categories are in webflow first before you are adding the products to your store so we can go ahead and hit create and now we've got our category here so let's come back over to printful and Let's close out of our products and go ahead and refresh our data again. That way we're sure that all of our data is synchronized. Perfect. Now we can go ahead and add our product. Our categories are all set up and our old products are deleted out of Webflow. We're ready to add in our new products. In the next tutorial, we'll walk through how to add these to your Webflow site. Mm -hmm.